made so many wrong choices in my life. <laughs> if a single guidance counselor would have told me I could just like jazz up a rascal and then take pictures of hot chicks, I would have absolutely walked that I'm path. I'm so glad she did it. Well, I think one of those is enough. To get your daily viral fix and to check out all the viral videos we have to offer, go to g4tv.com slash around the net. Now, if you want to see Nazis get hit in the face by a red, white, blue shield, there's really only one movie you need to see this summer. Jessica Chobot met up with the cast and crew of Captain America, and I heard she's already on board to play Bucky in the sequel. Really? Yeah. Tired of getting beat up in dark alleys and ignored by women? That wasn't so bad. That was penicillin. One shot of Marvel's Super Soldier Serum, and you'll be jacked up like Chris Evans and Captain America, the first Avenger. How much special effects did it take to put you in such a teeny tiny baby little boy body? I think quite a bit. I mean, that's not really my department, but it's amazing what they did. If there's not a lot of body motion, and I'm sitting in a car or lying down, if there's no movement in the body, they would put my head on a skinnier actor. Uh, but for the most part, it was just me shrunk down. Just give me a chance. Sorry, son. Saving your life. Superhero movies are obviously huge right now. Are you ever afraid that it's going to reach that ceiling and that the bubble may burst? I hope the bubble does burst because I don't really consider this necessarily uh, a typical superhero movie. I think we're set apart because we are in the period of the 40s and because I think we have a story that is much more multi-layered and satisfying than a lot of superhero movies or comic book movies that you've seen. So the bubble can burst. <laughs> So you start the film off with a girl on each arm, and then, you know, Captain America becomes Captain America, and then you're kind of left in the dust a little bit. Be honest, was Bucky's death maybe self-inflicted? Whoa, that's a new one. I want to say that it'd be so romantic if he had this death wish, you know. <laughs> but I don't think so. I think he's trying to protect him in whichever way he can. I got no right to do any less than that. This isn't a back alley scene, it's war. And the shield is awesome. How many times did you crack yourself in the face with it? Not once. I'd call a liar. Okay. Really? Seriously? I'm telling you, I got handy with that thing. Who else did you hit by mistake? Nobody, luckily. Nobody. A few stunned but they had it coming. <laughs> What parts of the comics did you pull for this particular adaptation? We went through the Brubaker series of comics with the writers, and we picked things that we could build a story around without lifting it directly from the comic. We wanted this to appeal to a bigger audience than just comic book fans. What made you so special? Nothing. I'm just a kid from Brooklyn. Is it true that the film's military advisors gave you absolutely no heads up or training whatsoever for the first half of the film so that you could kind of stumble your way through it? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I know a lot of guys went to uh, gun training and military training and stuff. I had some other things I had to train and there was a lot of stunt stuff that I had to work on. But it kind of worked out because the less information I had in that department lent itself to the awkwardness of those scenes. Grenade! No, no, no! Test? If somebody was to toss a live grenade in this room, would you jump on it and save me? No. Why not? We don't even know each other. <laughs> I'm just I, I know. Uh, a a maybe grenade. Maybe children first. I don't know. Maybe if it was made out of chocolate or something. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I would totally do it for you. Cricket. No, no, no. I'd be out the window. Man, everybody has been saying that today. Nobody would save me. Well, if I had a cool. of mine, maybe I'm <laughs> trying to make an effort for this weirdo. <laughs> guys take one for the team it's practically your patriotic duty to see this movie captain america f yeah captain america no don't say it go ahead an animated right. character that i am not ashamed to say that i am very attracted to aisha tyler from arts wow. join us live